Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have work safety special as always. Today we are going to demonstrate how bad are injection injuries. And to do that we have jail pop no pants here, taking the heat for the team. And here we have our familiar tool, cylinder thermillion. And on the cylinder we have 0.4 millimeter hole that's plugged with Play-Doh. And then inside of the cylinder we have paint. And the idea is to push the cylinder down, pressurize the paint, push through the Play-Doh, and then it shoots out with 600 bars of pressure. And here on the back end of the pop we have <laughs> these letter pads to simulate skin. And then ballistic gelatin to simulate human tissue. So we're going to see if you are have your hand near like let's say hydraulic hose or paint hose with high pressure and it breaks and the fluid shoots into your hand. We are going to see how bad it's going to be and this should be really bad. And I think I don't even have to say but it's not optimal thing to have paint or hydraulic fluid inside of your flesh. But how far it's going to go? I think we are going to find out. Um, of course, usually like once it starts to flow, you probably try to get away from that. So let's do like one second, second squeeze. But I think it's going to go like halfway of the block. Yeah, let's see. And this is like worst case situation. It's like almost point blank range, like half an inch. So here we go. Okay, and if it doesn't go in, then it's going to be a terrible mess. So let's hope that it goes in. I was too fast with the high speed, I get so excited, but that looks pretty bad. Oh no, oh no that's bad. That was pretty bad. I think that that could be your leg or something. Oh. That's not optimal. Mm. Yeah, I, I, you never should hold the high speed button on your hand. I got like too excited. Let's see, did I get it? I don't have when it comes out, but I have the like injection part. That's, that's. Does it come? From the cylinder yeah. or or the pop. <laughs> Pops back, ass. So, back side of the pop. Yeah. It's Pops ass. It's speaking to us. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, let's see again. <clears throat> it's it's not happy at all. Mm -hmm. Oh. But I think that's pretty realistic, like that's, that's how you mess up mm. your like hand or something in real life with the leak. Yeah, the, it didn't help. At all. Hey, we can see, let's clean that up and we can see like how it looks on the outside. Okay, so the hole wasn't that large and that's one of the most dangerous aspects of these. That's the only thing that you see outside, like a couple millimeter hole, and that's it. So people don't always go to the hospital, even when they have like this going on inside. So if you think that you might get like hit with like leak, you should always go to hospital, no matter if does it look like bad. And while we are watching the high speed clip, you can also imagine how this is going to be 
if that's hydraulic fluid from some machine that has been running for a long time and with the high load because on those the temperature of the fluid it can be like 80 degrees celsius or even hotter so you are not only getting injected with this like poisonous fluid but it's also so hot that it's going to burn you from inside so this is one of the first like ways to get injured on your workplace so be really careful with hydraulic stuff and anything that has pressure inside let's see how dangerous it is on this distance But it didn't go through. It didn't go. Something's landed on my forehead. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. But that was pretty much maximum like squirting pressure. I had some uh, candle stearine there melted to block the nozzle. So that was really solid thump. But still didn't go through. And then. The next experiment, for the first one, you have to be like special kind of stupid that you put your hand or whatever on next to nozzle. But uh, this, this is like more plausible scenario. We have hydraulic line or hose or whatever is this. I think it's hose that is uh, damaged for some reason. And then uh, gel pop no pants is for some reason doing some maintenance here next to the broken hose and at the same time we are going to exceed the uh, hose pressure rating by like double the amount so the hose should like explode and we are going to see what uh, our gale pop is going to think about that i i'm expecting that it's not good news okay everything is ready we are again running blue paint as an uh, test fluid and I'm going to give like 50-50 chances for this to explode. I think they have quite high safety margin on the pressure rating, but it's already damaged quite badly. So 50-50 that it's going to burst. Okay, here we go. And this is going to be about 600 bars. solid amount of pressure. look on the high speed first. I think that was a lot of pressure. That was eventful. Okay, Hanna, come have a look. Here, here it goes. Oh, 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 oh my. my. Oh. oh my god. It's almost going through the pop. Oh <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> But it's over also quick. Yeah. And I'm not sure, did it like, did it try to punch pop or cut through? It's, it didn't go much in. Mm. I think the, I think, I think the like, the failure of the hose was so complete that it didn't like make tiny jet instead of this like giant explosion. But it's still like a couple centimeters, or maybe like, it's like one inch in, or how much? Maybe about one inch. Yeah, that's, that's surprising. I thought, I thought it's going to start leak like slowly. But I think there's like different types of hose failures. Yeah, we are going to now clean this before the paint dries. This is the, uh, oh my, it, <laughs> it's ripped in, it's ripped in half. That's terrifying. <laughs> I think it tried to shove this through pop or something, mm. but this is not like just injection wound. It's like 
that's gonna mess you up. Because you have like large open wound on your hand or something. Yeah, but next time when Bob is going to do some maintenance work, I think he remembers to check that there isn't any pressure on the system. Yeah. <laughs> That's sure. <laughs> yeah, we're going to clean and think about things. Yep. <laughs> okay. I think you can already see where this is going. Uh, I wanted to test like the painting properties of the system, but uh, after seeing the last test, I think I'm not going to never be again close to hydraulic hose when there is pressure. So we have this magnificent Robo Painter 5 million. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Painter 5 million. Hanna, I think you can be the artist. Yeah. And I'm going to operate the pressure level. Yeah. And uh, we are not running 600 bars anymore. It's set to like 100. And uh, don't worry. The even with 600 bars, it's not going to go through polycarbonate. So we can be fine here and we can be like a couple of meters away to be extra sure, but it's not going to, it might go through the, like the canvas, but not mm. the polycarbonate, that's sure. Polycarbonate is designed not to let stuff through. <laughs> yeah, and if you have other cool ideas with the extruders, please let me know. Uh, we are working on uh, more weaver suggested ideas. And one suggestion was to use 3D printer nozzles, and that was a great idea. I think a couple of comments mentioned it. Um, I'm going to definitely get those to get even more dangerous jets going on here. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.